What does UI architect do? Code is important, but code is invisible. No matter how elegant the code, end users never see it. End users don't interact with code, they interact with buttons, images, links, lists, and menus. Those interface items and the sequence of clicks they have to make to accomplish something are how they judge their experience with a website or software application. And that's why the UI architect role is critical in developing successful software. Skills required for UI architect. Although the UI architect role is defined differently in different companies, you should expect to have the following abilities to fulfill job responsibilities. Understand end users. UI architects need to understand how software works, but it's more important that they understand how people work. By understanding how people want to work, they can design interfaces that streamline the processes and make them fun instead of frustrating. Study psychology and human-computer interaction to understand how to achieve this. Understand interface tools. Although the user interface is used by end users and created by UI designers, the functionality it accesses is implemented by developers. That means it's necessary to understand the complexity of the application behind the interface and what's involved in implementing it. In some organizations, the UI architect may implement interface components and needs to be skilled with front-end development tools like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and common frameworks. Understand teams. UI architects never work alone. No software project consists solely of a UI. It's therefore important that the architect work well with teams. Creating the interface architecture requires communicating with both developers and users. It also requires the ability to meet short project deadlines, especially as most projects turn to agile development and deliver in two-week sprints. Understand technology. Today's applications need to run in multiple environments, desktop, web browser, mobile web, tablet, phone, even watch. Understanding the capabilities and limitations of each environment is key to designing an effective, enjoyable user experience. Creative skills. Most of all, the UI architect role requires the ability to envision something that doesn't exist yet. UI architects use their understanding of users, developers, technology, and tools to design a brand new way of accomplishing a task. When done at its best, it's hard to imagine any other way of doing it. UI architect responsibilities and duties. Lead and direct UI team of user experience designers, UI software engineers and graphic designers. Design portal style UI framework, modular and its API interfaces. Design intuitive look, innovative plus feel of next generation UI. Collaborate with clients product management, as well as UI team. Design entire technical architecture of UI portal framework along with pluggable modules. Perform closely with customers, product management, graphic designers plus usability experts to present compelling user experience. Ensure to advocate for user-centric research. Design to wide organization using strategic relationships presentations, and influence. Head development inclusive to agile team to execute key user interface aspects. Collect requirements for user interface research. Recommend processes, services, software, and other tools to support business objectives pertinent to user interfaces as well as infrastructure technologies. Ensure to understand needs as well as disparate technologies existing in use through Engage Platform plus drive towards convergence. Ensure to guide process and technology adoption to assure APTQ a testing of user interfaces application. Contribute to enhance design process. Plan and execute usability evaluation along with testing across UI development stages.
A brief history of the user interface. Back in the 1970s, if you wanted to use a computer, you had to use the command line interface. The graphical interfaces used today didn't yet exist commercially. For a computer to work, users needed to communicate via programming language, requiring seemingly infinite lines of code to complete a simple task. By the 1980s the first graphical user interface, GUI, was developed by computer scientists at Xerox PARC. With this groundbreaking innovation, users could now interact with their personal computers by visually submitting commands through icons, buttons, menus, and checkboxes. This shift in technology meant that anyone could use a computer, no coding required, and the personal computer revolution began. By 1984, Apple Computer released the Macintosh personal computer, which included a point-and-click mouse. The Macintosh was the first commercially successful home computer to use this type of interface. The accessibility and prevalence of personal and office computers meant that interfaces needed to be designed with users in mind. If users couldn't interact with their computers, they wouldn't sell. As a result, the UI designer was born. As with any growing technology, the UI designer's role has evolved as systems, preferences, expectations, and accessibility has demanded more and more from devices. Now UI designers work not just on computer interfaces, but mobile phones, augmented and virtual reality, and even invisible or screenless interfaces, also referred to as zero UI, like voice, gesture, and light. Today's UI designer has nearly limitless opportunities to work on websites, mobile apps, wearable technology, and smart home devices, just to name a few. As long as computers continue to be a part of daily life, there will be the need to make the interfaces that enable users of all ages, backgrounds, and technical experience can effectively use. What is UX? User experience, or UX, evolved as a result of the improvements to UI. Once there was something for users to interact with, their experience, whether positive, negative, or neutral, changed how users felt about those interactions. Cognitive scientist Don Norman is credited with coining the term user experience back in the early 1990s when he worked at Apple and defines it as follows. User experience encompasses all aspects of the end user's interaction with the company, its services, and its products. That's a broad definition that could encompass every possible interaction a person could have with a product or service, not just a digital experience. Some UX professionals have opted for calling the field customer experience, and others have gone a step further to simply refer to the field as experience design. No matter what it's called, Norman's original definition of UX is at the core of every thought experience design. It's all encompassing and always centered around the human being it's interacting with. To understand what makes an experience a good one, Peter Morville developed a great visual to highlight what goes into effective UX design. What's the difference between UI and UX? At the most basic level, UI is made up of all the elements that enable someone to interact with a product or service. UX, on the other hand, is what the individual interacting with that product or service takes away from the entire experience. Don Norman and Jacob Nielsen summed it up nicely when they said, It's important to distinguish the total user experience from the user interface, UI, even though the UI is obviously an extremely important part of the design. As an example, consider a website with movie reviews. Even if the UI for finding a film is perfect, the UX will be poor for a user who wants information about a small independent release if the underlying database only contains movies from the major studios. Take Google, for example. Its famously Spartan interface highlights 
how a great experience doesn't require bells and whistles by focusing on the user google knows that when they come to the site they are after one thing information and they want it quickly the fact that google is a widely accepted verb shows how well the company delivers on that experience and expectation just about anything a person has ever wanted to know can be accessed in the blink of an eye and few other search engines survive today now imagine that every time you searched on google it took 15 seconds to get a result you'd no longer be able to instantly get an answer to your question even if the interface stayed the same your experience with google would be dramatically different